Now, ladies and gentlemen, if I was going to ask you on this one, there's a couple different things we know. Now, they do tell us on page 33 that we have parallel lines. So we have parallel lines, and what we need to next do, Carly, is look at our angle relationship. All right? Um, and what we need to do is then we need to determine what x and what y is. Now, as far as our angle relationship, alternate interior, alternate exterior, um, alternate interior, alternate exterior, corresponding and consecutive, we understand that 5x and 3y minus 1, those are both alternate exterior angles. And we know that alternate exterior angles are equal to each other, right? They're equal in value or equal in measure. However, the problem is here we have a 5x and here we have a 3y, right? So to solve one of those equations, we're going to have to use um, we're going to have to use both variables, which is not very helpful when we're trying to find the value of one variable to have the other variable in the answer. So now we look at 5x and 40. We need to determine, all right, well, maybe then how are 5x and 40 relate to each other? Does anybody know how 5x and 40? Is yeah. it what? Yeah. Well, how, how, is, how is this angle equal? How is this angle related to that angle? Well, they don't, they're actually on the same thing. They're not actually, they are kind of like consecutive one right next to each other, I guess. Adjacent angles. They are adjacent angles, but they're a special type of adjacent angles. Yeah. They are adjacent angles that are supplementary, right? This is number 19 on page 33. These are adjacent angles that are supplementary. But does anybody remember what we call adjacent angles that are supplementary that create a line? They called a linear pair, right? So these are a linear pair. And what's important about a linear pair is they are um, is they're supplementary, meaning supplementary angles do what? Add up to 180. Now, so I write supplementary, and I say 5x plus 40 equals 180. Right? So that's why that's so important. Now, the, again, the main important thing, remember, consecutive interior, alternate interior, alternate exterior, and corresponding, those all have to be worked on when we have our parallel lines. But supplementary angles, or a linear pair, does not have to have parallel. We don't need to do anything with parallel lines. But what that does tell us is that now we can solve for 5x. Yeah? Or I'm sorry, we can solve for x. So now I subtract 40. And I say 5x equals 140. Then I divide by 5, divide by 5. And x equals 28. Very good. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm still not done. I still need to figure out what y is going to be. So I look at this, and I remember I said 5x and 3y minus 1, those are what we call alternate exterior angles. And we know alternate exterior angles are add up to 180 or equal? Equal and measured to each other. So first of all, if, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, if I have x is 28, can I then now say that 5x is 5 times 28? Would that make sense? Yes? So therefore, this answer, 5 times 28, we know is? 140. So now I can say that 3y minus 1 equals 5x. Well, we just said that 5x is equal to 140. So you could say 3y minus 1 is equal to 140. Then we add 1. So we say 3y equals 141. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. So y equals, yes? No? So 3y minus 1? 1? Was that the problem, right? Yes? Where is 47? Oh, y? For y? Yeah. And there you go. x is 28, y equals 47. OK? So that's what you guys had to do for those two problems. Now, the difference.